Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north. More specifically, we are in Sandusky, Ohio, the roller coaster capital of the world. Got the joy of sleeping here underneath a thrilling roller coaster, the terror of roller coasters dancing above my head while I rest gently in my bed. So uh, today, we, of course, we are in we are, we are in Sandusky, Ohio, the roller coaster capital of the world, and we are headed to Cedar Point, one of the most beloved roller coaster parks here in the United States of America. So please follow me. And we have landed here at Cedar Point. I uh, wanted to get some more use out of my uh, Cedar Fair Platinum Pass that I got at Knott's Berry Farm early this year. Uh, a couple weeks ago we were at Carowinds, which is part of the chain, but also Cedar Point, part of the Cedar Fair uh, group of parks. Now this is, actually I didn't realize this, this is the second oldest amusement park in the country. This is the this is one of the oldest parks in the country. It was founded in 1870, so right after the Civil War. It is the second oldest in the country behind Lake Compounds in Connecticut. I think at one point this did have the most roller coasters in the world. It's often known as the roller coaster capital. However, it is only third place now behind Canada's Wonderland and Six Flags Magic Mountain. So without further ado, let's head into the park. The roller coaster there running over top the entrance to the park. See the people screaming there. So the head back over the entrance. See the big 150 here on the sign. They celebrated their 150th birthday in 2020 i guess they probably weren't able to fully celebrate it because of uh you know but uh yeah i guess that makes it the 153rd anniversary of uh cedar point take a look at the carousel here well, it looks like this is an all horse carousel and you can see it, the the bars are kind of at an angle there oh and also Okay, the, the ones on the outside are not going up and down, the ones on the inside are. So interesting, the angled angled carousel there. Pick a horse here. You can actually see they have real real horse tails there. Let's find us a mighty steed. Like I mentioned the outside horses do not go up and down, so we will uh, sit here on this uh, proud horse here. Carousel animals like a dog or a pig or a squid or something like that. But this this is a fine horse right here. The Point Plaza gift shop here. See on the shirt here. It's called America's Roller Coast. So it's actually on the coast of uh, Lake Erie. We're on a peninsula. Jutting out into Lake Erie here, but it's like America's roller coast instead of roller coaster, kind of a combination of the coast, like like the land meeting the water, along with the word roller coaster. Okay. You can see t-shirts for the wild mouse. The wild mouse, a very classic uh, and specific design of 
a roller coaster. And down here we have the he's a wild mouse like you see like the ride vehicle there made of wood you can actually put that together it's pretty pretty fun yeah I'm always fascinated by these uh, these wood models where you can put together the roller coasters actually these ones here you can put together the roller coaster track and then over here this is the roller coaster ride vehicles oh I really like that you know I'm a fan of ride vehicles and the design of, of ride vehicles this one's really fun looking it's the the sky uh, the sky ride there unfortunately the actual sky ride is actually uh, not operating today I don't know uh, exactly what the status of it is if it is operating and just not just not happen to be uh, running it today here at the CP shop we have some more wild mouse merchandise they also have this Wild Mouse plushie. Now look how wild eyed he is, clutching his cheese. They call their pirate ship right here the Ocean Motion. I guess that's a pretty clever name for a uh, a pirate ship style ride. Outside of Toff's ice cream parlor, have this cow wearing these cool red sunglasses area with some carnival style games look how large those snakes are there so here's where you throw a softball in a jar to try to win a plush axolotl all the classic games the throwing darts at balloons throwing balls at uh, milk jugs yeah they have a very large amount of carnival games here i guess that's leading us into their newest themed area this is the boardwalk it's opened up new in 2023 this here is called max air this looks a terrifying right here the big arm you can see all the people there sitting in a circle and uh, bad things bad things are gonna happen to them here momentarily see the ground just dropped out usually when the ground drops out that's the sign that bad things are, uh, are oh yep 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 there they start their their twirling right there twirling and rocking rocking and twirling oh my gosh yeah I've never done I've never done uh, one of this type of ride. Look at all those feet hanging there. Never done uh, this style of ride. Seems pretty horrifying to swing back and forth on a pendulum while also rotating. Oh, where'd they go? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wonder how high. Wonder how high it gets. Here you can win a stuffed seagull. You see in its mouth. It looks like it's got a French fry. I guess it here at. Uh, Cedar Point, these seagulls will steal your french fries. Yeah, the boardwalk area, kind of themed like an old boardwalk. And it's fitting too, we actually are on the lake here at the, at the current point. The uh, lake area is just straight out that way. Now over here you can actually look out onto the lake. And it's a rough day, a rough day out there on, on Lake Erie see uh, the waves very rough and tumble now this ride at Carowinds is called the do -si do a square dancing reference here is called the Troika and I have no idea what a Troika is the mighty impressive Ferris wheel there well unfortunately like uh, most Ferris wheels there is no single riders allowed there's the Dodgems, the uh, bumper cars. Looks like it's just a total free for all here. Some uh, some amusement parks they make them go in a pattern or a circle, but uh, here at Cedar Point it's just a uh, no holds bar free for all with the bumper cars. There's the Calypso. See the 
right here rotating on this giant disc. Okay, and as the disc starts rotating, these cars start spinning as well. The new, uh, newest roller coaster here, the Wild Mouse. We saw some of the merchandise uh, in the shops. You know, the Wild Mouse is kind of a classic uh, design of a roller coaster. It kind of fits with the boardwalk theme being an old school type roller coaster. See here the different characters. I'm guessing these are the names of the different ride vehicles, the different colored ride vehicles. We have Larry, Chase, Maisie, Dizzy, and Dizzy makes sense because uh, the Wild Mouse rides do make me very, very dizzy. There's Zaggy and Ziggy. See at the very top there before they go down that first drop, there's a cat up there that takes a swipe at their mouse. like the kind of the tightly knit loops within the uh, wild mouth. They are crazy. It's crazy how sharp they feel. Now, I would love to be able to take you guys aboard the Wild Mouse or some of the other roller coasters here at Cedar Point. Unfortunately, Cedar Point does not allow you to videotape on the roller coasters. So, unfortunately, we'll not be having any on ride footage uh, today. Now, I do hope. I do hope someday they, they do change their policy and allow you to ride with secured, safe cameras, film in a safe manner. I certainly agree that people should not have loose items, should not try to film with their phones on roller coasters, but I wish they would present an opportunity to, uh, to people, enthusiasts that want to do it, uh, want to film their experience in a safe way. But as for now, that's not the case. They don't allow filming in any form on the roller coasters. So we'll have to follow the rules. Of course, some classic carnival boardwalk rides out here on the boardwalk. You got the old scrambler here. Well, this just isn't any scrambler. This is the atomic scrambler. Oh, I didn't realize this. Back here on the boardwalk, there's actually a separate exit and entrance where you can exit on to the beach. Let's uh, let's go check out the beach. See also a hotel out here back behind Cedar Point. I didn't realize this was here either. But yeah, you can just uh, walk out onto the beach. Beautiful beaches of Lake Erie. tranquility for now. Let's head back into the park. Come over here to Planet Snoopy, the uh, children's section of the park. 
watch this yellow submarine submerge and unsubmerge. Oh, look who we have here. We have Franklin and Pigpen. How are you doing, Pigpen? Oh, look. <laughs> got a little something. Got a little something on your on your on your face there. You've been playing in the mud. All right. Well, let me uh, let me let me let me get a picture here with you guys. Hey. All right. Oh, I don't. I, I know I met you, Franklin, before. I don't think I've ever come across Pigpen out here at the Cedar Fair Park. <laughs> Stepped into another gift shop here because I saw these here. I'm a big fan of tenants and I love these. These are, I love the colors there. That's so cool. And look at this. They have the uh, some very old school looking pennants there. That's pretty, pretty amazing. Another old school one there. It's people, people on a coaster. And then I think these are, these are a little different. I think these are uh, space spiral. I think these. I think that's, I don't think that's here. I don't think they have that ride anymore. Steel Vengeance, I know that's here. And uh, Jungle Larry Safari, Safari Island at Cedar Point. Pretty sure that's not, uh, that's not here anymore. Gotta love these model roller coasters they have. Here's the boat from the Snake River exhibition. That's pretty amazing there, I love that boat ride. Has some actors and animatronic uh, animals on it. You can see they have like the little tiny Little tiny roller coasters there, and there are the uh, the wooden vehicles for the wild mouse. Now this here is pretty special. This is Cedar Downs. It is one of only two racing carousels in the United States. The other one is in Rye Playland in Rye, New York, and that's uh, different than a normal carousel, which is more leisurely. This the horses actually really uh, pick up speed and gallop. You know they're they're moving a pole from underneath. And they don't have an above pole. It's a uh, actually a really intense ride. You can hear them here they actually have like horse they race announcers yelling and talking. Sent today at Wiseman's Ferry toward the inside, and there goes Warren Lundown. He splits horses as they see the horses going the up and down. Third, see they move horses. on like this big circular uh, disc here. Curious drop right there. Oh, look at that. They dangled them there for a second. Make them think about it. Oh, you hear the, hear the screams from here. This roller coaster here, how close it is to everything. We go into the spiral there. Here's Coaster's Diner. This is a 50 style diner you'll find in uh, most of the Cedar Fair parks. Always got some old antique cars parked out front. Time to hop aboard the train here at the Cedar Point and Lake Erie Railroad. Now, uh, this particular train is actually one of my favorite train rides of any amusement park because it uh, hides a secret attraction uh, once you get on. <laughs> Welcome back to 
All right, let's find us a seat here on this steam train. Roller coaster racing, racing the train there. So the train right here at Cedar Point contains a animated skeleton Wild West town called Boneville that uh, that I absolutely adore. So I'm actually going to show that in slow motion because I actually fly by it so fast. It's difficult to uh, difficult to take in blowing the horn. Difficult to take in all the details, but yeah, I'm gonna show it to you in using the technology of slow motion. Millennium Force. This massively tall coaster here. See just how tall that lift hill towers over the park. See people up there at the very tippy top. And there they go. The Red Garter Saloon here. Actually, here's some music. 
coming from uh, inside. Of course, I don't want to forget to take advantage of my uh, drink pass that I purchased. I can get a drink every 15 minutes while in a Cedar Fair Park. All right, so we got one of these Coke machines that has a million options. Let's go with some Fanta Zero Sugar. Oh, oh, oh. Are we so hard to, to, to activate with your figure? Yeah, the, the wide variety of Zero Sugar Fanta flavors. We're always a fan of Diet Orange, but let's, uh, let's mix it up a little bit here. Let's try some Fanta Fruit Punch. Oh yeah, I'm still deciding, sorry. Sorry, I took so long. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, let's try some Fanta Fruit Punch there. Got it selected. Put the button there. Fill up our cup. Oh, 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 almost overflowed. Almost, but not quite. All right, we got our roller coaster cup there. I've, I've had, I, I love different flavors of Fanta. I don't think I've tried just straight up Fanta Fruit Punch before. This is zero sugar Fanta Fruit Punch. It's interesting, yeah, it tastes pretty much, pretty much, um, I'd say like carbonated Hawaiian punch is pretty much what we got here. Uh, I think it's called a drop of rain. Looking at the cup here, I have the names of all the different Cedar Fair parks there. And I think I've been to almost all of them. Been to, I went to California's Great America recently in California. Of course, Kings Island, Knott's Berry Farm, Canada's Wonderland, Michigan's Adventure, Carowinds was just there, just there a few weeks ago. Cedar Point currently there. Schlitterbahn Water Parks. I don't really do water parks, so I don't really, uh, don't really worry about that. But I've uh, been to Dorney Park, been to Valley Fair, been to uh, Kings Dominion in Virginia. So the only one, the only Cedar Fair Park I'm missing is Worlds of Fun. I think that is in Kansas. So once I hit that, I'll have visited every Cedar Fair Park. Hmm, interesting. It's an outhouse here. Let's see if there's anything, uh, anything oh, fun inside. What? Hi. How Hello. Are you? I haven't seen you in a while. How yeah. Are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm good. I gotta use the bathroom. Do you mind? All right, all right. Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna go first. Now come back later on when I'm done. Oh, yeah, come back someone, in, someone in there. Here in Frontier Town of Cedar Point, you can actually ride a horse for ten dollars. So uh, not only can you hop aboard a roller coaster here, you can actually hop aboard a living animal and ride a horse. Oh, I think the horses are all on break back there right now. Cedar Point sure is a barrel of fun. This is a barrel of fun at Cedar Point O. What, is, what does that mean, Cedar Point O? I actually kind of like that as the name better. I'm, from now on, I'm gonna refer to Cedar Point as Cedar Point O. Here's a log cabin settlement. Looks like they're doing some, uh, some gem mining here amongst the old cabins. Oh no, I'm a prisoner in a theme park. Here is the barnyard. Sadly, I guess the barnyard already closed. It closes at 6 p.m. It says all the barnyard friends are sleeping. Although I spy from here a couple of flesh-eating vicious camels. Hey, hey, what are y'all packets doing? You guys are supposed to be sleeping. Oh, look at this. Look at the baby. Look at the baby alpacas. Now back through here, there used to be a very interesting section of the park called Forbidden Frontier, where you walk back in there, there was houses 
and uh, people, actors, uh, playing characters, uh, kind of a, 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 a live action role playing uh, experience in a way. Unfortunately, uh, they did not open it up this year and it is unknown if it will ever open up again. So that's kind of sad. It was a very unique experience and uh, I'm, I'm kind of sad that they, uh, they chose not to open it. It's Professor Delbert's Frontier Fling. We can see Professor Delbert there on his uh, flying bicycle. But this ride is actually a very horrifying ride where they basically just pull you up with a string and then fling you across the park. Oh, there they go. Oh, just dropping. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just basically your body hanging from a string being flung. Yep, see those are people. A super soggy river right here. Let's uh, let's see how wet they get. Oh, it's great. Uh, check out the waterfall. There they going. They going under the falls. Oh, they dodged it. It's the Frontier Craft Company in this cabin. Looks like the craftsman is off today. You can see these carvings here, these beautiful horse heads. So I've been carving some dragons and uh, even carving a lady back there. Oh, there's another one of my most hated rides there. I've actually been on one of those things. I, I hate it. Absolutely hate it. Oh, it just lifts you so high. It lifts you higher than 90 degrees. And you're like looking face down Feeling like you're gonna fall out of your seat. See these poor people on the bridge possibly don't realize how wet they're about to become. Oh yeah, they got they got doused. People on the bridge got doused. People in the boat also got doused. They look very, very soggy. Well, here comes the people in the boat. There go the people on the bridge. Oh my gosh. Gonna splash the face. Here we have the glass blowing theater. Oh, what's happening? Here at the uh Cedar Creek Mining Company. There's been an explosion there in the mine. Oh my goodness! You can see the the uh, the, the, the roller coaster there burst through the wall. A fairly gentle, slow-moving roller coaster there. Wild West area here. Although it seems like there's two Wild West areas in Cedar Point. Notice the 1870 up there, that's the year Cedar Point opened. And look who we have here. It's our old friend, Pappy. The miner slash fortune teller there. And it looks like this Pappy, he only takes credit cards. Pappy's got something to tell you, so you best be listening, and listening good. This here's a true saying. The smallest good deed is better than the grandest intention. Take it from Pappy. Intending will get you nowhere fast. But doing something about it, now that's what'll reap you a great big reward. You got some more money for little old Pappy? I got a heap more to tell you. Well, look at this. You can see a sign for Boneville. I'd never seen a sign for Boneville outside of the actual train ride. 
So, so it would be a grave mistake, grave, because skeletons are live, live in graves. It would be a grave mistake to miss Boneville aboard the Cedar Point and Lake Erie Railroads. I This whole time I thought that it was kind of a hidden attraction, but here it is plastered right here on the wall in this Wild West section, inviting you to come visit Boneville. No bones about it. it says humorous sights will tickle your funny bone. The humorous is actually the name of a bone, and it also sounds like the word humorous, which means funny, and then uh, the funny bone is the name of a, uh, of a bone. So we guarantee a rattling good time, because you know, skeletons like rattle, they like, they like chatter and make noise because all their bones are loose. Look at that, we can finally see a Boneville resident up close there, very, very happy little skeleton there. I like a scarf. All right, this is Steel Vengeance. It's a big wooden roller coaster. It's got the metal tracks on it. You can see here, I'm headed up to the tippy top there. Getting ready to come, uh, come crashing down. Oh my. Gotta wait for the train here. Have fun in Boneville. Another thing on the list of things that I will never be doing, the slingshot here. My goodness, they got these two guys strapped in. I'm gonna be launching them in the air momentarily. Oh, okay, they they tilt back. That's not gonna be out there. Ah! Whoop. Ah! Yeah, no way. Never. Oh, look at those guys. Yeah, it kind of twirls. Oh my gosh. They free fall. Uh-oh. It's an ambulance. Oh, I better get out of the way. This is Gemini here. You can see there's actually two trains that race at the same time. They actually are, are racing, I guess, racing each other for supremacy. See the two cars there? Oh, that red one's way ahead of the other. Oh yeah, there's the red car. Oh man, blue coaster's way behind. Yeah, the red and blue train locked in a constant eternal battle against one another. Oh, you just see the red train just pulled ahead. I guess they can uh, get behind and then catch up somehow. Not sure how that works. This right here is called Pipe Scream. It's kind of a play on the, play on the term Pipe Dream, which means something that's not likely to happen, something you may wish would happen, but is unlikely to happen. But also, it has pipe in the name because a pipeline is like something you surf on. Because you see the wave there, it's kind of like a giant surfboard that they're going back and fourth on. So yeah, the pipe scream, a multi-layered uh, play on words. This thing here is simply called the monster. Now sadly, my, my favorite ride here in all of Cedar Point was uh, closed today. The Snake River Expedition. It's a, a boat ride. It has, uh, it has actors on it, it has animatronics. It is a lot of fun and uh, it's not open. I don't know if uh, they only open it uh, certain times. I think it's uh, maybe a ride they don't open every day. Maybe it's only open on the weekends. Maybe they're waiting for a little later in the season, but uh, it's a shame because this this is here, this is my, my, my all time favorite ride here at Cedar Point. Here's a guide that shows you all 
It's the different height levels of different rides. They have kind of a color-coded ride system. You have to see how tall you are and if you can ride. But what makes me sad is apparently if you are 6'7", you can't ride anything. And, and, and you'll never shrink, so you'll never get to ride anything. For some reason, that just makes me so sad. Just, I feel bad for all the sad giants out there. Just notice this stuffed shark here. Does anyone think this looks like uh, Jabberjaw? Does anyone remember Jabberjaw? Oh, wow. It's the, it's the tower of power here. Climbing up to the top. There's a lot of terrifying things here at Cedar Point. Are they gonna make them hang there for a second or are they just gonna drop them? Are they gonna drop? There they go. What? Oh wait, no. Going back up. Oh, just kidding, you're going down. Actually, maybe back up. No, you're going down. Actual no. This blue roller coaster here called the Corkscrew we saw earlier. I love how it crosses over the walkway there. Just how I love how it interacts with the environment. Over here in the Kitty Land section, you notice that they do have a second carousel, or rather, third carousel if you count Cedar Downs. And this one's got some, uh, it's got horses, but it's also got some other animals. See a lion right there, it looks like a, a bunny in the back. So uh, some of the, uh, some creativity here with the different, different uh, animals. Looks like there's have a tiger. And we exit under the roller coaster. Wading through the sea of vehicles, trying to locate my car. Look at that skyline of roller coasters there. So thank you for joining me here today at Cedar Point. I've uh, got my, my Platinum Pass with Cedar Fair Parts. So love checking them out, seeing how they're doing. I um, Like I said, I've been to every Cedar Fair Park except World of Fun in Kansas City. Missouri. It's actually, I, I said it was in Kansas earlier. It's actually in Kansas City, Missouri. It's in Missouri. So I do need to at some point get out there to, uh, to Worlds of Fun and see if it truly is Worlds of Fun. But anyway, it's had a wonderful day here at uh, Cedar Point. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country, film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun, random stuff. If you'd like to help contribute to the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop, some brand new carpetbagger cryptid monster pins, and uh, also doing cameo, personalized messages, greetings, uh, be birthdays, anniversaries, any occasion. If you're interested in that, check them out in the description. And of course, all that goes to help keep this roller coaster train on the track, this rocking boat rocking back and forth, and this insane roller coaster climbing high, high up its lift hill. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.